Hey YouTube, it's Sean again, and um, we're working on, still working on this generator, and um, been a while because I had some other things to take care of, you know, car related, work related stuff, but uh, I did a little bit of preliminary checking on the bearing and it's good and tight, it doesn't feel rough at all, it's real smooth, that's good, but um, I'll show you the repair here. I just used um, some uh, good quality insulated wire and ran from point A to point B and then I used some good epoxy and epoxy the wire down to where centrifugal force won't pull it away from the mounting points because this thing spins pretty fast 3600 or 3000 or whatever these thing I think they turn about 32 to 36 you know depending on where you set your, uh, you got to get your cycles right. But uh, first thing we're gonna do here is take some green Scotch Brite, and um, I don't know if you can catch those uh, slip rings. They're pretty, uh, pretty cruddy. We're just gonna go ahead and. See if we can brighten them up a little bit. And they don't need to be perfect, but they do need they do need to be good enough to wear that the brushes will not wear. And that's why you don't want to use sandpaper on these unless they are really bad and then you just want to fine it fine fine sandpaper. You know, two to three thousand. But I just use Scotch Brite, these green Scotch Brite pads, and I'm just buff them out. So where your brushes make good clean contact on the slip rings. And then, man, that motor has good compression. Yay. That's good. Motor runs perfect which is good but yeah just keep working yourself around there and if you see a bad spot go for it but um yeah buff your slip rings while you have it apart and you'll save your brushes those things are looking good now I'm gonna leave them alone I'll blow that out with some air those things are bright, shiny brass now, just like they should be. All right, looks like we're ready to put her back together, YouTube. That's my next step. Anyway, I wanted to, while I had this apart, I wanted to show you guys the difference between, rather than just talking about it, and I've, in past videos, I've told you, that there's two different types of generator. There's a brush type where you have a set of brushes like a motor has. You know, you have this set of brushes with a positive and negative. And um, just the same thing as a motor has. It has springs in them. And then you have your AVR, automatic voltage regulator. Which is awesome. I love these because you can adjust your voltage on the back right there. Yeah, there's a little tiny screw. You can adjust your voltage right there. And um, but the difference between this and a, br a brushless generator. This is a brush type. The difference is right here. Here's a rotor out of a brushless generator. It doesn't have slip rings. None at all. And it does not have brushes in it. It has instead down inside the rotor. Let's get this up here where maybe we can see it. Don't know. Down inside here on both sides of the 
of the rotor there is a resistor and a diode one there and one there and um, those tend to heat up and, and burn out and the only way to replace those is to pull your rotor out and then replace them with a, uh, a new resistor and a new diode on both sides that's why I do not like the uh, brushless generators another reason is if you get at or near the capacity of the generator this goes out and this is the capacitor they're rated at 350 volts AC and um, I'm telling you they um, <laughs> these are a big problem with the uh, brushless generators um, I've seen in my shop I've seen at least 25 of these um, go out and it's just they just fail um, the, they just cook in, internally but this uh, is why I don't like them and the rotor there's no slip rings so you're relying on capacitive energy and these lose their magnetism a lot faster than these do I've let a brush type generator set for well, well over a year and um, they just you plug something in they just fire right up these a lot of times these type type of generators you have to actually flash the generator by the way I do it is I plug in an electric drill put it in the forward speed forward movement and spin it and then with the breaker on and they'll they'll take off and go but these I've never had one lose their their flash I know that they do they can they are um, lots lots of people have said hey a generator won't put out and um they just use a drill and do the same thing but these are a lot more resilient but um there's the end bell yep and you got your you know your marked L1 L2 R1 R2 yep that's the end bell and your wiring posts and um it's pretty simple you got this is the plug that your uh, let's get it over here that your uh, AVR plugs to and then you have two groups you know you have a black and a white on this one and you have a gray and a red on this one that's it And then to your housing, they're the same. You have a red and a white, and a gray and a black. You meet them up on the same posts, and you're good. And of course, don't forget about your ground wire. And from your white wire, there is a link. White, white link and this goes to the ground it goes it runs from your white post right here and it con connects right up goes right to on the exterior of your generator you'll have a little bolt it'll be marked right there ground and that white wire comes over from your white lead to your ground and that grounds the, the whole thing out to where if something goes a haywire, nobody will hopefully get fried. No shocking. There you go. There's the difference between a brushless generator with your uh, crappy little capacitor and your crappy little rotor. Um, and then you have a brush type generator, which far superior. So you can take your choice when you're buying one, but um, 
this is what I I choose um, brushes the brushes are ten bucks I've seen these go um, just depends on how well how good a one you want you can get them these for ten but they I'll tell you you buy a ten dollar um, capacitor and you're gonna be looking at about I'll tell you it'll go out when you need your generator that's usually when these go out you hook up anywhere near load that thing is just gonna fry but there you go YouTube there's the difference between a brush type and a brushless type and now we're gonna put this thing back together and the next time you see it it'll be running and putting out power because I did some checking with my meter and that was the problem just that bridged bridge deal there and I it's done deal so we're gonna put it back together and we're gonna make a run next time you see it though it'll be together YouTube you always take care of yourselves and remember go down there in the corner and give me a thumbs up Appreciate it, guys. Take care of yourselves. Bye.